Hi, I'm Casey. And I'm Gianni. I never finished reading the Animorphs books as a kid, and I still have it as an adult. And I've never read them. We can't tell you where we live. But we can tell you that we want to revisit these books as adults and dive into what we would keep or change if we were to put it on TV. Two friends, 50-something books. Welcome to Morphin Buddy. Nice. And, and then the music kicks in, and then people are just so ready. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our next episode of Morphin Buddies with me, your host, Miss Casey Sosnowski, and Mr. Gianni DeMaia. What? I'm What's back? up? You're back again. No way. Wow. No way. I'm glad you made it to the next round of uh, episodes. You know, I'm really mm. proud of you with your insights. and. Yeah, we were going <laughs> to, the original plan was to fire me by yeah. now. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I no, I think we'll keep you around. around. I think people Just like your ideas. More. Thank you. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. I was actually listening to some of our episodes that have come out. Oh, yeah? Because um, I hadn't listened to any of them yet. Oh, no way. Um, and they were funny. It's, fu- yeah. it's funny how much <laughs> I forget of what I say. Yeah. And then I'm listening to it, and I'm like, I, fa- I, I caught myself being like, oh, yeah, I forgot that happened. <laughs> I was yeah. like, I read that book, like, a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I'll, I'll listen to them for, like, comfort listens. Like, if there's, mm. like, not a new podcast episode I'm really into, or if I just want to listen to something relaxing and funny, I just go back to our episodes. Which exactly. It sounds a little bit, like, you know, like, arrogant or whatever, but it's not. It's just it's remembering fun times with your buddy. Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, our our hangouts are recorded, so like, what yeah. am I supposed to do? Not listen to those? Yeah, like, exactly. But yeah, so this well, will be an interesting. This will be an interesting episode for for reasons that that yeah. will be revealed. <laughs> That's what they call a teaser in the business, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, a teaser in the business. Um, well, I do want to start out. We got another listener email. We did. What? We did. <laughs> Yay! Stop it. Okay. From someone named Logan. Okay. So Logan said, "I heard your latest episode, Megamorphs One. Thanks for listening. Where you guys were happy to get one email, <laughs> so I figured I'd send something in. Now you've got two. Aww. Technically, you're number four, but thank you so much." I uh, just wanted to also clarify something: the Ghost Riders don't get into the series until I'm not going to tell you what book it is. Because I feel like so I, I don't actually, want to taint your viewing. So, <gasps> this is so funny that you mentioned this, Logan. But um, yes. I actually just re-listened to that Megamorphs episode as well. And it also made me curious. Huh, I wonder if it's like well chronicled when the Ghost Riders get introduced. And it is. I don't know exactly what books it happens. But I know that it doesn't mm-hmm. happen until the 20s. So yes, I did, uh, but I, I got curious for the exact same reason um, in re-listening <laughs> to that episode. So, but yes, mm-hmm. thank you, Logan, for saying that. Um, yeah. Because I forgot that gives, we were talking about that in Megan Wars. Yeah. He gives me the exact numbers of what are ghosts written. I don't think I want to reveal it to you because mm. I don't want to like taint your uh, future readings. Yeah, don't. Because then I'm going to yeah. read it and I'm going to be like this I, i'm gonna be like oh clearly I'm already down on it. yeah no, i, I want to be able to see if no. i can notice you know okay um and he also or i guess logan they them he she whoever uh while the series is created to ka applegate it was a wife husband writing duo mm-hmm. every non-ghost written book was written by both katherine applegate and michael grant mm-hmm. All the megamorphs and chronicle books were written by them so the cool. offshoots are all them um, then he, then uh, they give me the number, and apparently there was also a choose your own adventure animorphs. Shut up. Or al- alternamorphs. Why it was called? Yes. Are we gonna read that one? Does that happen in the series? I or? mean, we should try to find it somewhere. Yeah, I didn't wait, know there what? was a choose your own adventure. That's fucking cool as hell. Hold Which on, that's that yeah, that's dope as hell. And Logan says, looking forward to hearing more episodes. Thanks, Logan. Logan, thank you so much. That's actually so, so thank sweet you, of Logan. you. Thank you, Logan. Hold on. But now, Logan, my, You're my, gonna praise, look up the of, my praise of you is ruined now because you've now, <laughs> you've now set me on the hyperfixation trail to finding Alternamorphs. So Hell yeah. For one Choose moment. your own adventure, Alternamorphs. Five-book gift set on Etsy for 
No, that's they don't print these books anymore. So An- Animor- Alternomorphs One, the first journey on oh eBay, I can get it for three seventy four, three dollars seventy four cents. Dude, you um, should totally get it, and we'll like read it live on an episode. Hundred percent getting that. That's so much fun. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that would be so much fun. How many alternomorphs are there? Is the I question. don't know. Ask ask the Goog. <sighs> Give it a okay, Goog. Okay. Um, how many? <laughs> this is just gonna be <laughs> left in just the us googling. Exactly. <laughs> how many alternomorphs? Search. Okay. No, that's animorphs. That's just regular animorphs. But no. Maybe choose your own adventure animorphs. Oh, I'm still in. I'm still in shopping. That's why. Hold on. Ah, that's why. Fandom. Okay, Alternomorphs is a spinoff two book series from the oh. main fifty four book animorph series. Book consists of a choose your own adventure game book style where the character careful. careful. And this is just in the opening, so I, okay. I don't think they. I, don't, I think I don't think they have plot. They yeah, better they not. Have, they have literally okay, nothing good. written here. Okay, okay so um, <laughs> where the character you are a sixth animorph, and cool. you must choose how to react in certain situations. Okay, what, what kind of situations are we talking about? Are we talking about say- like <laughs> someone's having a heart attack and I gotta morph into a bug and crawl into their body and stop the heart attack? All it says is which will result in you living, dying, or getting stuck in morph. That's all it says. Okay. But there's two alternomorphs. Okay, interesting. Um, so you I'm should, getting both of them. Yeah, you should absolutely get both. <laughs> Look, I didn't want to pressure you, but you should absolutely get both. Buying them both right 100%. now. 100%. Oh um, my god, that would be so... And then we could do like one episode that's just all Choose Your Own Adventure. Yep, so I'm adding that. Because I don't know how popular <laughs> these are, how many people, if they know about these. If you do know about these, uh, don't spoil it. But if you don't know about these, let us know if you want to see an episode of us just... Doing the two alternate alterna morphs books. Let us Actually, know. Actually, I Uh-oh. have an idea. What's Do, your reach idea? out to Logan. Yeah, Logan. And ask him because, like, hey, thank you so much, and blah 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 blah. But uh-huh. also, because I'm sure you already responded to him. But yes. but you should ask him and or ask them. I don't. We don't want to assume Logan. We don't want to assume. We yeah. Should, we should ask the Logster. Um, <laughs> Is it okay that we read the alter like does the alternomorphs have any spoilers oh, for the series? A, is there yeah. any book that we have I to should read ask them, them after? That. Yeah, um, I should ask them that. And then and then if Logster gives the go ahead, then yeah. we'll just go ahead and get them. Now look, um, Logan, we trust you. Don't fuck us. <laughs> yeah, without <a> <laughs> this is this is our lives right here. This is all we have in our sad millennial <laughs> lives. <laughs> it's just <laughs> um cool okay cool all right all right this is exciting um i don't know why i turned my phone off and took away my notes for this book gianni we got the forgotten book 11 we're in the double digits now all right it's very exciting <laughs> how do you feel about the forgotten um <laughs> <laughs> mid so here's the thing here's the thing about the forgotten uh-huh. as it was happening i was like uh-huh. this is fun yeah. Um, and then the ending happened, and then I was like, "Oh, you don't give a shit about this? Okay, <laughs> neither do I." Actually, <laughs> uh, the whole time I was like, "I was like, this is major." <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is crazy. And then there's yeah. like a thing that they like acknowledge at a certain point um, mm-hmm. about a, about like a certain science fiction circumstance, and I was like, mm-hmm. "Wait, what?" And mm-hmm. then. It, eh. it basically, I mean, look, I, I know we're not in the spoiler section of the book. I'm just going to yeah. jump ahead and just say this, just this one line. Uh-huh. This is a, this is a, it was all a dream book. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I hated it. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, now, not to say that it was like bad. No, I mean, it wasn't it's, bad. It's fun. It's just filler. Yeah. I mean, this is like textbook. If you're not interested in the jungle <laughs> or like the Amazon, <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, then there, I don't see what else this book is really offering you. Because it's like, it yeah. kind of introduces like interesting science fiction concepts, but then as yeah. soon as it starts trying to explain them, it gets so convoluted. Yeah. Um, 
impossible to follow to the point yeah. where even the character Jake makes a comment like towards the very end where he was like he was like oh man all this time stuff is doing my head in I was like yeah. me too brother because yeah. he was like no one's really thought this out yeah. um honestly I got to the end of it and I was like I, I don't know I felt I felt a little bit like this was an offshoot that I think probably just shouldn't have been written yeah. um I I hesitate to say that any of it was really consequential to whatever overarching larger narrative. Mm-hmm. Um, I think any character development that you get in the book is pretty much a retread. Mm-hmm. I think there's one... I think there's, like... There's one interesting angle that they kind of approach. But again, like... It's so basically... Uh, I just kind of have to, like, talk, talk it out a little bit. So, mm-hmm. it's light spoilers, right? Light spoilers. Light I know spoilers. that everybody listening to this has probably, has probably read, read the books. But... So, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but, but even still, mm-hmm. I, feel, I feel like I, it's important to at least acknowledge. But light yes. spoilers. But the one interesting approach to character development that they do introduce in this book is having Jake be, like, a failure of a leader, which... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good for this guy. Good I know. For, Self-reflection. For development. Resident, for resident Jake Hader, uh, me, <laughs> that it rocked. But the problem is, is that the plot, because it does away with everything at the end. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's like the he self-reflection didn't exist. He doesn't learn anything except for like, oh, I probably just shouldn't do that. Like, it doesn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, if I actually think it would have been way more interesting if Jake, like has to go through and then just make better choices as a leader Mm -hmm. i think that shows better character growth and Mm -hmm. makes this book more consequential Mm -hmm. but it wastes too much time with like this weird science fiction offshoot and um just macguffins its way out of it to make it all completely inconsequential and i think as a result it's just an inconsequential book yeah for for the listeners who don't know explain what a macguffin is because some people don't know what that is so, like, a MacGuffin typically is just... Um, it's like a red herring, right? Yeah, it's... No, no, I wouldn't even say... Sometimes it's a red herring, but, mm-hmm. like, I think the the White Rabbit in Mission Impossible 3 or whatever is, like, the quintessential MacGuffin example. It's, like, it's an object that's going to... It's usually an object. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it can be a person or something, but mm-hmm. it's usually an object that's going to drive the plot forward. Um, the object is of virtually no consequence it just sets the stage for the plot to propel yeah um the the there's like kind of a macguffin here but it's more it yeah it's less an actual object and more so like a a theory yeah yeah (laughs) um and like that's cool for like a science fiction novel or novella Mm -hmm. like this but um they get around having to explain it in more specific detail by literally just having the character, the one character who would know about it, be like, oh, I didn't pay attention to this. Because I was looking at a girl. Um, <laughs> as if that excuses the convoluted nature of the thing itself. Yeah. And so it just kind of doesn't work. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I. I, I I was really not a fan of this one. This is like yeah, it just just above the stranger for me. Yeah, um, it just kind of made me like feel like I was just kind of shrugging my shoulders through the book of like oh, oh okay that's I'll, I'll go with it. Oh okay yeah oh, that's interesting. You know I I did feel like this was kind of fun as like an adventure type book, but it is one of those where it's just kind of like one and done like it doesn't really matter at the end of the day yeah. like when <laughs> throwback when we watched Anaconda and <laughs> we were talking about that movie that whole movie none of it matters yeah none of it matters by the end of the day they're sailing off into the sunset but big snake but big snake though mm-hmm. um so it's like it, it's fun but it's forgettable it's yeah it's just it's just something that happened yeah, the forgotten... Is that, do you think that's what the title was? <laughs> the Forgotten alludes to the audience reaction. Because um, I don't think the title really did anything for this book. No, we're back where we started. <laughs> with, <laughs> with titles. We're back to my original theory that they had some interesting titles and they threw them into a hat and then picked them at random. That is my story and I am <laughs> sticking to it. 
Um, yeah. yeah. It's just not... I mean, uh, all things considered, I think that The Forgotten is... is um, sh- should probably be a Forgotten installment in the Animorphs series. Um, yeah. Also, uh, just a quick heads up. I don't know if people can hear this in the background. The saxophone guy above me is playing all day <laughs> with uh, his windows wide open. So if you hear, like, sax, low saxophone in the background, it's just my neighbor. It's New York. What are you going to do? You I, know? I mean, hey, I, I, we're okay with that. I think yeah, it's he's always good, at good to have it. a he's little bit bad. of background music in some of the yeah, you, stuff, you know? So you might have some light jazz in the back. You like jazz? <laughs> you like jazz? <laughs> you like jazz? Um... Uh, but uh yeah this book's kind of forgettable um yeah yeah we got some interesting things that could have been with jake but ultimately it doesn't really pan out to anything at the end of the day yeah i just yeah i don't i don't think that this is one that anyone is going to have any sort of like fond memory or fond impression of i don't even think unfortunately it's not even really fun to kind of like address plot Mm -hmm. wise because honestly it just kind of all bled together for me Um, yeah yeah I, yeah, again, like, outside of what I said before, like, if you're really interested in, like, getting a new sort of biome introduced into the series, then I think that mm-hmm. maybe this one has something for you. Yeah. Um, but that's really all it is. Like, yeah, I can see them using this kind of exact plot in any place in the series just to kind of get uh, a- another episode sort of spaced out. But yeah. that's... That's that's all. It's really just there to to exist as like a filler entry, um, yeah. As you had kind of said, so I don't know. Yeah. This plot is gonna be rough, guys. By the way, cause like <laughs> literally, I I don't know. I this was one of those that I was really I was having a tough time. I was just kind of glazing over. Yeah, I, was... I started kind of glazing a little bit too, but I was trying to take notes. I think I got enough notes to keep it all together. Um, did I really? I did like four pages of notes, three and a half pages. Oh my god, Jeez. you loved it! <laughs> oh my god, I loved it so much. Oh my so god, you were much. obsessed with this. Oh thing. my god, this is my favorite. <laughs> um, so uh, I guess we'll kind of start out with the the horror of square dancing. Yes. Okay. So I actually really loved this opening. I thought it was I fun. did too, and it was um, funny because my second note was some humble <laughs> pie and jokes from Jake. Yeah, he's actually... Um, a person. A person, like a human person. <laughs> a human uh, boy. Yeah. yeah, it opens on him, and he's, like, talking about, uh, you know, the usual rigmarole or whatever mm-hmm. of how, how intense their lives are, and then, yeah. you know, buttons it with a little joke saying, like, but now it's the real horror, which is square dancing, and he's, like, doing some <laughs> square dancing thing in his yeah. school. Promenade. Um, and he's hating every second of it. He's making mm-hmm. fun of like the instructor's weird voice or whatever, or the yeah. or this or this is the, the song's like weird voice. Um, Cassie shows up, and then like he's embarrassed about yeah. it, but then he kind of like, kind of like takes her into a little dance yeah. thing. He kind of like, rolls with it a little bit together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it, this was this was really cute. Mm-hmm. This was a cool subversion of expectations. Yeah. Um, Did you still want them to kiss? Yeah, I do. I hate to, I don't know what it is about me, man. Like, I'm not even a Jake fan. I'm, no. I, I'm not, like, but I but I get, like, a touch of romance, and I turn into a, I'm, a someone else. I'm like, yay. Do <laughs> it. Kids. Oh, no, not yet. Like, Maybe like next said, book. <laughs> he says it, like, four times or whatever, but he's just like, yeah, I kind of really like her if you catch yeah, my meaning. I kind of like, like her. And I'm lot. like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> One day, you'll get it, Gianni. I'm sure you will. I'm positive I will, because if I don't, I don't know what I'll do with you. You'll myself. just riot. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so he's square dancing, having a good time, and then he suddenly gets a flash of jungle and monkeys swinging through the trees and humid air and then he's flash back to the square dancing and he's like that was weird yeah okay <laughs> um and then tobias is like hey jake marco i we gotta go i got something important to tell you you gotta come with me right now uh so they follow tobias and they go to a grocery store and something yeah. fell in there don't know what but something fell probably in there. probably nothing Probably nothing. Uh, but uh, Chapman's over there. There's a bunch of people with guns and too many people for a 
empty grocery store at in the middle of the night. So they're like, huh, right. that is weird. And if Chapman's there, we definitely got to explore. Um, and then Jake gets another weird flash. And he's like, hey, that's weird. Uh, being in the jungle. Yeah, humid, that's going to happen air. a lot, by the way. A few it's times, yeah. <laughs> yeah, quite a few times. Um, and then they, uh, they all reconvene together. The whole gang gets together. And they're all like, yeah, this is weird. We should go in. But how are we going to do it? Let's be flies. So they, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, and I, how many times now? <laughs> and I know that there's nothing bad that t- happens to them as flies yeah. in this one. Almost, Thank goodness. almost. But like, dude, how many times? We, we hate turning into these bugs. <laughs> we t- Nothing good ever happens. As bugs. Why do we keep doing this to ourselves, guys? It's, just, it's, it's, uh, it's the best idea they got. That's all they got. They don't have enough flying morphs. I thought of something, though, when I was... Re- I don't know why I just thought of this, like, as I mm-hmm. was reading this particular part of this book. Um, mm-hmm. I, this seemed like a thought I should have had way earlier. Mm-hmm. But I was thinking, and I was like, what happens if you try to, like, get the morph of someone who's already morphed? Like, what happens? Oh, you can't do it. It has to be the original source. Like it just doesn't, it just doesn't compute. You just yeah, like, that's you, you, hmm. you try to take on the morph and you just. I wonder if process. I wonder failed. if when you take an animal's DNA, it kind because it becomes part of your DNA. That's like a changed DNA. It's not like the original what it should be. So that's why you can't acquire morphs from like your fellow morphin buddies. Because they have technically changed DNA, and so you can't get, like, that actual straight from, you know, the animal DNA. I don't know. I think that's the best way I can kind of explain it. That's the way it makes sense That makes sense, sense to me. I mean, yeah, I was just kind of curious, because yeah. I, I think... <laughs> well, they also I... mentioned that in this book, too, at one point. I, is that maybe why I was thinking of it? Cause I Probably. Can't, I can't cause... remember. Yeah, they're like, oh, you can only get it from the original. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So because I was, because I think I was like, you know, he's a, he's a tiger, which super Mm -hmm. useful morph. (laughs) Yeah, but but they would they don't want to be noticed. It's a, uh, what do you call it when you're just spying? It's just a spying mission, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. So now they're all flies or whatever, (laughs) or they're gonna be flies. But (laughs) first, he's got to watch a pay per view boxing match. Yeah. Um, with his dad as like a bonding yeah. thing um, for dude bros being dude bros or whatever. They were boxing. They watched the boxing yeah. match. Thom's getting kind of antsy because he wants to go to the grocery store. And Jake's antsy because he also wants to go to the grocery store, but for di- different reasons. So they decide to do that um, after the match. Jake makes his way out of there real quick. And Thom also sneaks out. They... The whole gang goes, they become flies, which there was a line in this that made me laugh and think of our last episode, um, because Jake did say, being a fly is nothing like being a bird. So I guess you were right, Gianni, it qualifies as a bug and not a bird. (laughs) I told you that there's only, you know what's so funny too, after we talk about this, I've told so many people now about this thing, Uh because my new, my new bit is, um, (laughs) is that, is like, hey, um, What's what's like a hill you'll die on that yeah. is like totally not important to anything? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I explain my example, which is like, uh, you know, a bug is a bug, and a bird is a bird, and a, <laughs> and fish, a fish is a fish. Is a fish. <laughs> um, and then that's it. And, then that's, <laughs> and at first, everyone is like, "What?" And then oh. eventually, it either goes into two camps where someone's like, "Yeah, that makes sense to me," <laughs> or they're like, "That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of in my life." <laughs> Um, and I think it's great. Um, but, I think you need to I've post this now, on the unpopular opinions on Reddit. I think I think so. Yeah. Because um, I think that more people need to be talking about this. But it's just true. <laughs> Wait. A spider's a bug. It's like, a, let's not... What are we doing here? Actually... A spider's a bug. A bug is a bug. <laughs> it's funny. When I was in the shower this morning, there was a spider, and then there was another little bug just hanging out in the shower because it just rained a lot so and it's humid yeah. so they're all kind of coming out and i first one i was like oh sorry spider i didn't mean to get you wet i wouldn't have killed you sorry 
and then I look at the other one, and I'm like, is that a spider or is that a bug? And I was like, no. A bug is a bug. No, a bug, bug is, is a bug. bug. It doesn't yeah. matter if it's it a spider matter. or a bug. It's a bug. It's a bug. <laughs> it's a bug. Uh, so it's a bug. That made me Someone think of you this morning. Someone said crab to me, though. Crab. And it did, it's it not did a fish. give me pause. It That's did give me pause. Yeah. Um, I've landed on it's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, they're kind of sea bugs. Yeah. Wait. It's a bug. Lobster's a bug. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> what about clams? <laughs> A bug. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay. What about flying fish? Because they fly. It's a fish. It's a fish. But they fly. If it's fish in the name, then it's a fish. <laughs> Good point. That's a fish I'm going right to try to find more animals where I'm like, explain this. Wait, what about like a platypus? That's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> because it lays eggs and swims. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, platypus is kind of like, take your pick, you know? Platypus could be a yeah. wall. Um, it could be a mammal. <laughs> Wait, are mammals included in your criteria? No, I don't give a fuck. If it's a fish, it's a fish. <laughs> like, if it's a, if it's a whale, it's a, guess what? That's a fish. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mammal! <laughs> no, it's a fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Platypus. This is this is an absurd discussion. Gianni, the book has gotten away from us. We have forgotten about the book. <laughs> so, all of our buddies, they morph into flies. And the flies, they uh, get up. Jake almost dies uh, getting hit by a windshield. And he has another memory flash back to the jungle. Ah, scary. Um, <laughs> and then they get to the, the store and they're looking around. Cassie lands on Chapman's bald. Just <laughs> hate, hated that. Hated the wording of that. Um, that's where she lands, though, right on his bald. Uh, she tries to listen to the conversation, tries to figure out what's going on. We don't really get a ton of information from this, do we? No, not at all. Not, not that I really. remember. Yeah, <laughs> it's been forgotten. Um, so, uh, oh no, we do. They tell us the, they have a new bug fighter that is like super technology bug fighter. And uh, the gang has decided they want to steal it right now. Immediately. They're going to steal this bu new and improved bug fighter. Yeah. Um, so they decide, okay, we're going to have Tobias distract everybody. And uh, then we're all going to fly into the bug fighter and morph into our morphs and take it away. And we're going to land it on the lawn of the White House in Washington, D.C. So Yerks <laughs> can't have a secret anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is a bold move, I would say. I here's the thing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> what, Gianni? what the fuck are we doing here? <laughs> Don't tell them what they can't do. I know that they're twelve or whatever, <laughs> but Probably. that I thought that the whole point of everything up to this point was like. I can't even tell you where I live, and I can't tell you who I am because I don't know who's gonna be listening. Uh -huh. But let's take this loud. <laughs> let's go big. Let's get loud. Yeah. Yeah. Who sings that song? Um, uh, uh, oh, fuck. What is his name? Who's the talk show host that everybody hates? James Corden. James Corden yeah, sings that let's song. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't, no, let's not let James Corden sing anything. <laughs> but... Uh, so yes, I totally agree. Also, uh, so yeah, so they decide they want to land this on the White House lawn, <laughs> and they're like, "Axe, you can figure it out, right?" He's like, "Sure." Andalite technology way better than York technology by like miles, whatever. And then <laughs> there's one moment that made me laugh where Axe is like, "I found the on switch," while they're all like panicking about Tobias nearly dying from getting shot at by all these controllers and they're trying to get mm -hmm. lift off and Axe is like, I found the on switch. This is good. Go turn it on. Yeah. <laughs> turn it on. Axe. That would be great. Axe was kind of interesting in this book. Cause yeah. I'm so used to Axe being like, uh, um, sort of incidentally funny with like him being kind of off, like just, just off of like, normal human behaviors mm -hmm. he was not at all and he was like super serious like commando guy yeah, in this was. one um to the point where 
once again, bringing it back to Ghost Riders, I was like, did someone else write the axe stuff? Because he did feel especially buttoned up in this one. Yeah. Like he, had, he had all the ideas, mm-hmm. and he was like... According uh, to my theory... Like, yeah, like, <laughs> it's like, okay, all of a sudden he's like that. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of the... He's like dude in the chair for, for some of this. Like, it was just interesting to me. Yeah. Um, um, also terrible move from Jake um, Axe is like I need somebody on weapons and Mark was like cool and he starts heading from the, for the chair <laughs> and then Jake immediately takes the chair without saying anything to Marco just on, takes it right it, from him you dickhead oh. here's the thing if there's one thing that Marco is going to be good at it's going to be shooting. <laughs> yeah. Like, just let let that kid get his rage out. Dude. Yeah, like, let him just, do it. Like, put that kid in, the, in, the, in the, the chair and just let him just go to town. Yeah, dude. when I read that part, I was just like, rude. Like, I actually said yeah. that out loud because I was so miffed by that. Was rude. Okay. Yeah. That's your best friend. You're going to just take that from him? Cool. <laughs> um... Uh, and then uh, they get up. They're flying around. They run into the blade ship. Oh no! They both fire their lasers at the same time. Um, right. And uh, they uh, there's a big flash. Yeah, they, they crash down to earth. They get rocked. Um, they wake up in the middle of the jungle. Yes. <laughs> and they're Daylight. not exactly they're not exactly sure where they are, but they mm-hmm. basically start to theorize that they're in the Amazon rainforest. Yeah. <laughs> Which is yeah. like, I don't look, I don't know much about geography, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how the fuck we got all the way to the Amazon rainforest, but, um, space time continuum, a, Gianni. Right. Right. Space time continuum. But, <laughs> but they, this is where it really starts to go off the rails a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you're either on board or you're not. Yeah. But they're just going to start throwing just like science fiction <laughs> jargon at you. And then the second you're like, what does that mean? Then Axe basically is like, yeah, I don't know. I don't really pay attention. <laughs> um, but they start to talk about this thing called a Sario Rift. Yeah. Rip. Where it's basically a rift in, like you said, the space-time continuum. Yeah. Um, and it either sent them forwards or backwards in time, and they're not exactly sure which. Which. They're like, we're <laughs> but, here. But if two Dracon beams are fired at the same time, then theoretically this is something that could happen. Yes. Um, they rip a hole in the space-time <laughs> continuum. Which is like, okay. <laughs> which it's very lucky they only got like the day before. But, Oops, spoiler, sorry. <laughs> my thing is, my thing is like, how the fuck often must this happen? This must happen all the time. Yeah, right? Because they're, they're constantly fighting in space. Like, this must... <laughs> Are they not connecting streams all the time? Yeah, like, I, I imagine, if you will, <laughs> if in Star Wars this mechanic existed yeah. every time two blasters were fired at the same time. I mean, time. they did. Like, Spaceballs. Where yeah. <laughs> the, the lightsabers twist around each other, and they're like, "Uh oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh oh." <laughs> but like, but okay, imagine that then, and then they just go back in time every time that happens yeah. or something. Just, like that's crazy. Yeah, and it's you supposedly would never different. Get anything done? Yeah, it, it doesn't make any sense. But but all right, cool. I'll stick but it with exists. it. It exists. I'll stick with it. Cool. Um, and then. They realize they're being watched, and Axe yeah, is like, I see a somebody. A spear comes out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, probably poison-tipped. Um, they're like, right. yeah, okay, so there are, there's like a tribe of people here. Cool. Um, and then they're, they, Tobias is like, hey, there's hork coming towards you guys right now. Y'all better run. And Jake is like, Axe, can you disable this bug fighter so they can't use it to fly away? And Axe is like, yeah, I can probably find something to, like, destroy the engine. And then Jake's like, okay, do that. Everybody else, let's abandon Axe and leave him alone with all these hork bajir. <laughs> let's just let him fucking die. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, but ba- basically the plan was, like, because he's, like, the fastest or something. And I was like, yep. I, first of all, never once did we ever establish no. that. No. Two, two, like, what What kind of a team leader, like, yeah. absolutely insane behavior. Even Marco and I was, know like, that a lot of this. Go ahead, go ahead. But I, I was just going to say, like, I know a lot of this is, like, trying to be, like, Jake being frustrated that he's, like, 
making bad decisions or whatever. Uh-huh. But, like, no one challenges him on this one. No. Nobody challenges him. And I'm him. like, what's... Like, guys... <laughs> Yeah, this is a this is a dumb idea. What do we what do we do? And doing even here? Marco was just like, "You're gonna leave him there by himself? He's gonna be alone? Like he could die?" And Jake's like, "I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, Maybe what, he won't." What else am I supposed to do? I don't know. Anything? Literally, else, like, dude. have somebody stay with him at least, so he's not by himself. You know? Yeah. He ain't beating the allegations on this book, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Ow! Jesus um, Christ, sorry. My cat just bit my neck. Okay. Jesus oh, Christ. No. Like a love bite. He does these little tiny... When he wants attention, he does these little tiny love bites. You can see he's just gazing Aww. into my face right now because he wants attention. Yeah, it looks very loving. <laughs> he's very... <laughs> Not at all A little intense personality. No, sometimes... When you have cats, sometimes you get little love bites and they don't understand that um, we're more delicate than they are. So right, right, that's right. what he wants. He just wants attention. Anyway, um, so so yeah, uh, Jake leaves Axe to die because good on him. And yeah. look, I've been trying. And then almost immediately, instant karma gets bitten by a poisonous snake. <laughs> good, or a venomous snake. <laughs> Which one is a Gianni? I don't care. <laughs> Does it matter? A snake is a snake. <laughs> we have a new category now. A snake is yeah, a snake. Yeah, a snake is a snake. <laughs> snake is a snake. Bird is a bird. Fish is a fish. Bug is a bug. But yeah, but so he realizes that if he demorphs, the venom goes away? Yes. Um, the venom goes out. Of- oh, so the snake is venomous. Oh, so that's sure. what we're doing now. Okay, it's a venomous snake. I don't know. It's venomous. This, that's the correct one, Gianni. <laughs> anyway, he gets venom. He gets venomed, and then he demorphs, and he's unvenomed. He gets venomed. Yeah, he, now he's unvenomed, um, and right. he's like, "Cool, okay, so I can't be poisoned. I can't be poisoned. I can't get venom in me." How do we? How do we feel about this? I, mm, that you can just morph out of poisoning, because I, I understand like getting some a sort limb of chopped off injury. yeah yeah like i understand yeah. that stuff because i the way they've explained it like you have basically just the dna that you originally the got blueprint. right that's how you yeah right with venom i get that mm, at, venom is in your yeah like, it's something that's been venom, put inside you yeah what like what are we doing there that doesn't i don't know if i like okay it, but, here's a question if i'm diabetic and I need mm. to take my insulin, and I morph into the animal. Does that insulin go away? Am I gonna have a diabetic like shock at some point because the insulin isn't in my body when it needs to be, or do I not need I the mean, insulin because I'm a bear? I mean, listen, am I gonna need the insulin when I'm a human again? These are these are questions. These are my questions. These are questions. These are my questions. Um, but they they say that this is how it works, so okay. I will agree. <laughs> if this is how it um, works, um, they also then this was my personally this was my favorite part of the novel just because mm-hmm. very intense. Yeah, the ants. Um, and I was and I was with it. I was focused. Yeah. I was honed in. Yeah, yeah. Um, everything else outside of this, I was like, I don't, you know, I, I, it all bleeds together for me. But this this event, this was kind of interesting. So basically, like they discover Rachel and she's being swarmed. Yeah, ants. she's knocked out and, and unconscious, she's still, bleeding. She's still in her gorilla morph. No, no, I, and, Rachel, a gorilla? She, Ew, Gianni. Wow. Was it a gorilla? Wait, no, no she's a was, bear. Right? Oh, no, it was a bear. Oh, my God. I don't know why I thought it was a You're gorilla. You're thinking Marco. No, wait. You got Marco, Marco on the brain. Yeah. No, 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 she's in her bear morph. Yeah, she's bear. And she's, yeah, because, so then, basically, Jake comes, concocts a plan where he's, like, taking tufts of fur and then, like, pull, peeling it off of her, and the ants are following the tufts yeah, of fur. The, the rival ants, ant colony. The yeah, rival ant ants colony. Pitting them against each other. Which I thought was a genius all... idea, honestly. It's not a bad idea. It was like, it's crazy. Good job being like, a leader works. this time. Great idea. Uh, so, so he's, like, just praying that they'll fight long enough so that she could wake yeah. up. He's even kicking her head. To... Like, wake up. <clears throat> She comes to, he's like, demorph right now, and then rushes her over into the water. The river, yeah. Um, because, yeah, remember they're at the Amazon rainforest or whatever. Yeah. Um, so they rush into the water, they get all the ants off of them. Mm. Um, and, but then, They gotta get out of the river immediately. Then they gotta get right back out of the river because there's piranhas. piranhas. Which, that's um, not quite how piranhas work, but I get it. That's kind of fun, actually. Ants and then piranhas. 
No, yeah, no, piranhas in this book work exactly the same as I thought they worked for years. A same. major portion of my same. life. You know, kind of like quicksand. I was going to say like, quicksand too. <laughs> yeah. You think it's going to be. Like, that's how it works? You think it's going to be such a big thing in your life, and then it's not. Yeah. And then you look. Oh, yeah, I thought piranhas. I thought every time I got into the water, I would probably have to deal with like. A piranha somewhere. Are these fish or are they piranhas? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are piranhas. <laughs> they all look alike. You know? <laughs> wow. Like, Way to be fish. Because a fish is a fish. Because a fish is a fish at the end of the That's day. That's true. So a fish they is are a fish. all the same. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, so then they're like, we got to find Axe. And then Axe is like, I'm here. I got the, I got the <laughs> floppy disk for the bug fighter. Um, so they can't start it. This is the key. The yeah, floppy and then he like roasts them a little bit too. He's like holding the thing. He's like, they're still a little bit primitive as a race. Ours are th- <laughs> like three times smaller or something. These like big that. dumb idiots. I was like, All right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, Axe, who didn't even pay attention to this as like a theory in yeah. school, uh, like a multiversal theory. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's got all tough talk about about uh, how how their whatever their quantum resonation chamber is too big. Yeah. Uh, and then they, uh... So, at this point, Jake explains to them what's happening. The flashes happening there, that right? he's getting. Because he's... Because I think he has one, like, right around here, where he, like, has a vision... Of square dancing. And he's back... Yeah, he's... Yeah, he's square dancing, mm-hmm. right? And he's like, oh, hey, I should probably talk about this guy, so basically... <laughs> um... <laughs> I, I've been having these dreams, and he's like... Uh, I think he ends up saying something at the same time as Marco, and he's like, I should probably address this now. So, <laughs> basically, I'm chosen. <laughs> I'm the chosen one. Um, basically, I'm the chosen one, and something's happening where I'm seeing visions of the future and the past all at once. It's real weird. And then um, Axe is like, yeah, well, there's two um, simultaneous timelines of yeah. some sort that are intersecting through space-time. Yeah. Um, so... That he thinks that they've gone back in time about a day, mm-hmm. um, and then they're existing simultaneously in these two yeah. separate locations. They have to undo the effects mm-hmm. of this rip, this this Sario rip, mm-hmm. um, uh, in order for this to kind of like stop happening. Otherwise. Uh, the universe will destroy itself yeah. because these two things can't exist at the same time. Exactly. And I like how everyone <laughs> so, was like, oh, we went back a day. Oh, how convenient. Right, 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 <laughs> right. Everyone's super chill um, about it. But, like, what are they going to do to undo the effects of this? They're kind of not really sure. <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, I guess we have to find the blade they're like, ship. I, they're like, I know how we'll get out of this. Let's be monkeys and think about it for a while. <laughs> 100%. What else are you going to do in the jungle but be a monkey? So, yeah. You, so they become monkeys. Monkey time. Um, it's actually a cool new morph. Yeah. And I wish it would have been the front cover morph. Yeah. Because I think it has way more to do with it than the front cover. Yeah. Not that this is like a big thing in the book. No. But it's just kind of a, a neat idea where it's like, oh, all this. Like he talks about how. You know, being the monkey, and he's and it feels like he gives into the animal instincts just enough, and they're mm. able to like totally kind of. Fly. It's like he's seeing in limitless vision, yeah. and he's just gliding through the 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 jungle. It's like this is where they're meant to be, kind mm-hmm. of thing. It's very cool. Um, but then, uh, this is where I get lost because so because then I have to like address my own notes because I'm like I remember them being monkeys, and then. And yeah. then there was a big gap in my in my they, in my note taking. Yeah, there was a bit of a gap like, in my notes too. And at I this was point. like, "There's but, nothing that happens of any significance." Yeah. I, wait. At some point, they see like the indigenous tribe, right? Is that yes? Yeah, so, so next? between those two, they morph monkeys. Then they get chased by Horkbajir because the Horkbajir right. are coming around. They're like, "Let's shoot everything that exists," um, because it might be yeah, an sure. Andalite bandit. Uh, so they, which is not the worst plan in the world, but also, but also not a good one. I like that the human <laughs> controller's like, that looks like a pig. Shoot it. It doesn't look like it belongs here. And then they just <laughs> destroy a poor pig. He's like, ah, that doesn't look like that belongs here. Shoot him. Um, right. But this is where he gets worried, right? He's like, they're going to see Tobias and realize like a hawk doesn't. Yeah, look like exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. so they're all monkeys. They're all swinging through the jungle they're getting chased and then one of the hork tries to shoot and he looks up and a snake descends on him 
and it's Visser 3 and Snake Morph. And he's like, fools, you were shooting <laughs> in the woods? And they were like, yes. And he was like, idiots, did you not realize I might be in the woods? Well, I guess in the jungle. Woods, jungle, two different things. Anyway. Yeah. Um, and they're like, uh, yeah, we, uh, we definitely thought about that. And that's why we're stopping. Quick sidebar. Do you think K.A. Applegate was just eating at a rainforest cafe and had this <gasps> idea? God, I hope so. I think that's how it happened. I K. think K. she's... Applegate was just like, wait a second. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> like they did the, the rain every 20 minutes and she was like, The thunderstorm. <laughs> hey, this gives me an idea. Michael, I'm on to <laughs> Michael, you have your notebook. Get, get, get the notebook. And start scribbling <laughs> frantically. Um, now, I feel like... Catherine and Michael are better than Rainforest Cafe. You know what I mean? Mm. They're classy people, probably. I'm going to be honest with you. I was today years old where I realized that the K stood for Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the right. fandom, Gianni. <laughs> right, right. It's actually Eleven books in. Catherine Alice Applegate. Holy uh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Cool, cool. I'm so, with it. I'm with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, so anyway, Booster 3 is a snake. Cool. Um, and then I put a note that says some humility from Jake. And I don't remember. Maybe I it was him being like, like I first... didn't choose to be a leader. You guys made me the leader. And they're like, yeah, because yeah. you're a leader. And he's like, I, I, I don't know what you guys are picking on, because that's not me. I don't, I don't like doing this. Yeah. Finally, Jake was written by me. <laughs> um, just for that one moment, me um, AF. <laughs> but yeah, so they they run into I don't know exactly the order of things, but the, yeah. I know but now the much. tribe people come up. They run into the indigenous tribe. He reflects back on like when he got that like spear or whatever thrown yeah. at him before. Um, so he kind of like holds his hands up. Yeah. Um, he he's not really understanding the language, but he's picking up yeah. on like certain words and context clues. Yeah, because Marcos Basically, speaks Spanish. They he thinks they're speaking Portuguese, which is. They're like cousin languages. Yeah, very close, almost. Almost. Um, <laughs> to me, someone who speaks one language. <laughs> um, but but uh, they they basically theorize that like they see them morphing and they think that there's some sort of like monkey spirit god or monkey yeah. spirit of some sort. Yeah. Um, and then they they are sort of trying to draw what hork Bajir look like and it's yeah. like some sort of monstrosity that yeah. they keep trying to emphasize and and Jake's like yes they are they are evil or whatever mm -hmm. um, and so then they agree to sort of help them uh, deal with the Yurks at least and like some sort of weird bizarre temporary alliance kind of thing yeah um, then it starts to rain rainforest cafe <laughs> <laughs> that's true bringing it back bringing it back um, <laughs> And they all, like, huddle under some trees and, I guess, like, take a nap. Yeah. And then Jake... Wakes, wakes up. up. to a jaguar? Yeah. <laughs> and the jaguar's uh, like, hey, I was going to bite you for attention, yeah. but it's cool. I guess I'll just hang out here. And Jake's like, uh, let me touch you real quick. <laughs> yeah. Let me get your morph. Let me get, let me get your DNA. And he's like, he's like, hey, everybody, everybody wake up, touch this jaguar real quick and acquire his DNA. And, yes, then we we all all run. <laughs> and then we all run. And then we all run. That's the plan. Because um, um, they want something more powerful in the jungle, which yeah, valid. Um, so they do that, and they're like, okay, we got two hours left before we got to get back to our own timeline. So we got to find yeah. this blade ship. And uh, so they go as uh, they're, jaguars. They're rushing for it. Uh -huh. um, they all of a sudden start getting tangled up in the vines, and they're like, what the hell is going on? They realize... Not vines. Uh, it's Visser Three. Yeah. He's morphed he into some sort them. of horrible tr creature. Yeah. Uh, he starts swallowing them one by one. All of them. Um, and then literally just keeping them alive inside of his like I don't know stomach. Yeah. Ouch and Tob thing. Tobias is like Jake, Jake. I'm trying to get around, but you gotta go. You gotta get like get to the ship. Do something. And Jake's like, I yeah. guess it's just me and Tobias. And he looks up and he sees Tobias get taken. And he's like, I guess it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> so then he's trying to get away. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, uh, the Deus Ex uh, Indigenous Tribe comes out. They start throwing <laughs> spears at Mister Three. Yeah. To try to help Jake get away. Yeah. Um, 
but the like he oh. still keeps fighting through it all for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, Jake finds a spot to demorph into human, and then he morphs into monkey because it's all these vines. He's swinging through mm. Visser Three's vines. Then he yep. sees the tribe, and he's like, "Spear, give me, give me your spear. I, I, I need it. Help." And the guy's like, "Yeah, cool. I, I think I understand you. Here's a spear." And yeah. he tosses the spear yeah. up to Jake. Jake throws he the spear. He beams this guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but it doesn't work. If it's just three wraps him up anyway, starts strangling him at the neck. Yeah. And then Jake wakes up and from a dream. And we're right <laughs> back at the shopping mall where it all started. And Jake uh, says, this was the moment where I had a weird feeling in my gut and, and I didn't want to do it, but I did it anyway. And he's like, Hey everybody, we're done. Let's all go yeah. home. Hey, and everyone's like, okay. After this. Yeah. Yeah. No one has anything. Nobody. <laughs> He doesn't even explain what his reasoning is no. the next day. He's just like, we're out of here. Yeah. And uh, they're like, guys, okay. Wrap it up. And then he <laughs> explains it to Axe, and Axe like, doesn't even believe him until he mentions uh, the Sario rip. And then Axe yeah. is like, oh, yeah. Yeah, that can happen. And he's um, like, oh, you died. So that's why yeah, you're back so, here now. Yeah, that was, how it, that was how it broke out of the, the Sario rip. Is otherwise yeah. it would have. Otherwise, the universe would have caved in on itself, I guess. Yeah, and um, also you don't get to keep the monkey or the jaguar morph. Sorry, but you're not. Yeah. It's, no, nobody's going to have it. Yeah. And Jake's like, then cool. Jake's like, wow, that was awful. I did terrible. Yeah. Um, and then Axe is, like, Axe is like, no, man, you're good. You got lucky. And that's all it takes. To that's all leader. leaders need is to get lucky. <laughs> and then Jake's like, you know who wasn't lucky? Elfengor. <laughs> yeah, which is crazy to say. <laughs> <laughs> and X is like, well, yeah, he didn't get lucky that time. Okay. Yeah, but, but, like, but he was a great leader. He was a great leader. He was lucky before that. And I'm sure. like, X, this is your brother. I'm like, B- God, bananas. Just... I don't know what we're talking about here. But yeah. And then the book ends. That's it. Yeah. That's yeah. The... So the, the main theme, <laughs> thematic takeaway is just, hey, get lucky sometimes. You know, I don't know. It, it pays to be lucky. Sometimes it could just be a dream, actually. Yeah. Just a dream where you die. So inconsequential. Um, like what a what a slap in the face that ending is. That's crazy. Yeah. Would we? Would we? I I. I mean, I think this would be fun as like an adventure kind of thing, but I don't know if I can see like. If we're filming it as an episode, I'm trying to think of a way where we could change the ending where it's not like it's all a dream. Um. You know. Or maybe. No, unfortunately, you can't get yeah, out of it. You, you can't. You can't do the plot of this one and get rid of the it's all a dream thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I Damn. mean, you you got to cut this. Let's yeah. be real. If yeah, we're, yeah, if we're adapting too. the TV show for Animorphs, mm-hmm. I'm so sorry for all of the major fans of the forgotten all four or five of you (laughs) but we're cutting this one yeah i think Um, we have to do you do you think do you think it would be harder to film this or the secret that's a tough that's Mm -hmm. a tough call well because you know what like here's the thing it's tougher to film this and i'll tell you why because the only good things you're getting out of this there's two good things that you're getting out of this Mm. one of them you can keep and you can have in somewhere else in the story yeah which is Jake feeling self defe- yeah, self reflecting yeah. on being a leader and and taking more ownership and responsibility yeah. of that role, which you could absolutely keep and you could just put it at another place in the story and mm-hmm. it's really you know just up to us to really find where the where the most interesting part of that might be, mm-hmm. um, and then there's the rainforest aspect itself, mm-hmm. which is like super cool to see a totally different kind of place in one of these stories mm. does the coolness of that really <laughs> outweigh the the inconsequential nature of whether or not that story itself needs to be told yeah and i would argue no yeah because not um, i mean not even like the tribe that was in it just a tiny bit the only reason they're there is to give jake a spear which doesn't work and in the end anyway like yeah. there's there's no reason for the tribe to be there really except for them to be like yeah. oh people and i i mean i guess the only reason that the spear is there is just because otherwise Visser 3 could have just captured Jake yeah but the threat of the spear suddenly makes him like kind of snap and kill him yeah 
I guess that's why that happens. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting, but yeah, I mean, it's just not. It doesn't. It and yeah. It doesn't stand up on its own, unfortunately. Um, no, I, I, and I, I, look, I like having a thread. I like showing the stakes and having everybody lose. Mm-hmm. Like, I think that's cool. But if you're gonna immediately retcon it with a dream, I just, I think we have to find a better way. Yeah, I, I think it would be doing a disservice to the fans who, you know, care about this series. I, I. I Nobody likes the dream. It was all a dream anymore. Like, unless you can do yeah. it really, really well in a different way, then, like, fine. But, like, it just, a lot of people are kind of sick of that whole shtick. And uh, it just doesn't work. It just doesn't, doesn't yeah. work. Now, if I absolutely had to, yeah. if they were like, the forgotten must stay. Must. <laughs> then the major overhaul change I'm adding to it is that everybody dies, including Visser 3. Like, they sacrifice themselves to kill Yeah. 3. Um, and they're like, this was all for a cause. And, like, Jake, like, slowly bleeds out and then wakes up. Like, yeah. just to up the stakes of the whole yeah. thing and to, and to, I guess, further emphasize, like, the, the thing I hate most about Jake is, like, the, the lack of leadership quality despite him being identified mm. as a leader. Someone who's literally willing to self-sacrifice like yeah. that to protect everybody, yeah. I think it would would be a major development or growth for the leader. So that would be the only major change. I would yeah, make. that's where I um, thought this apart was from like go. less flashes. And yeah, all. that's where I thought this was gonna go at the end, where Jake's all yeah. by himself and he's like, you know, in order to destroy this Sario Rift, I I I have to destroy myself now. Because right. my other self is existing and there can't be two at once. So, y- yeah. yeah, that would be great for Jake. That would be such a huge thing in terms of character development. Because we haven't really seen, until this book, him doubting his leadership. You know? And yeah. that would be such a, a good thing to explore, I think. So, you know. I think so. That, that would be the only, yeah. like, saving grace for this book, in my opinion. Yeah, I still would opt out of doing The Forgotten altogether. Yeah, But yeah, if that's sure. what we had to do, then we would just up the stakes a bit. I yeah. I think that would be... Totally that would, agree. That would, that would, that would be uh, a little less salt on the wound of It Was All a Dream. Yeah. Uh, all right, you want to head to the next book? Heck yeah, Brother Bear. All right, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, this next book is Banana Land. It is in Banana a, Land in Chaos. A good way or in a in bad a, way? It, I think in a good way. It's you're not gonna you're not gonna know what it is whatsoever. You're not gonna expect it at all. Oh, because God. when I first read it, I was like, What? And then I was like, What the hell is this? And then I was just kinda in it and I was having a good time. Um so uh yeah, what what do we got on the cover here? What which book is this, Gianni? <laughs> what are we looking at? You know what's funny? This cover is not that bad, but no, like it's not. the third image is just so funny. <laughs> like the I, third image is just comical. I'm a big fan of the second image because if you look at the tail, the tail is the best part. <laughs> tail is the yeah, best part, in my opinion. It looks like it looks like Rachel just becoming a like a alligator or a crocodile. Uh, I'm not sure crocodile. which one. Crocodile. Is a crocodile. Yep. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the okay so like the title and the tagline i'm yes. not are not quite meshing for me i don't know what the, <laughs> the title is the reaction which i'm like okay uh, that could be a number of different that's kind of an interesting title but then the tagline uh-huh. trust no one i'm like what, uh-huh. what's the reaction to another person i <laughs> I, I do remember this one and i can make it fit I can make it fit, Gianni. You can? The title fits? I can make it fit, yeah. Okay. If the title fits, I mean, the reaction. Yes, the title definitely fits. I would I would adjust the tagline as, trust no one, dot, 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 not even yourself. Oh, okay. So there's a little clue. Well, that changes there's my a... prediction of what I thought of. If you know, you know. <laughs> That's why. Uh, totally. My Morphin buddy is listening. Very different yeah. than what I thought it was going to be. Okay. So... That gives you a little hint. Um, mm. 
that's gonna make sense as you so so what's what's the reaction gonna be Gianni okay well now I'm now I don't know <laughs> 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 now I really don't know I was originally gonna it's be like puzzle. like react like reacting to someone doing something like oh Ooh. like someone reacted and strongly and like murdered a yeah. person and then like, oh shit yeah, yeah, yeah. that would have been crazy but now but now trust no one not even yourself now I don't know yeah <laughs> Yeah. It's a yeah. it's a peanut allergy. It's about a peanut allergy. <laughs> Rachel develops a peanut allergy, has an allergic reaction to a peanut, and then I uh, mean, look, you're not totally far to, off. Really? So <laughs> that was that was in the ballpark more than the murder. I don't want to completely give it away, but you're closer in the ballpark with that one. Oh my god. Uh, so yeah, I have no idea what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> Closer oh, to the ballpark with the peanut allergy is a great. Yes, you're oh, absolutely. Man. You're actually super close That's in the ballpark funny. with that one. Um, um, you're like I would say you're at second base with that one. So second base, okay. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. So uh, I ju- if, yeah, I just got to go further. She has. A, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a cancerous reaction. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> not, she not she develops more. anamorph cancer and can no longer oh, can shit, no longer morph. <laughs> <laughs> no, this it's not life threatening. That's too far. That's too far. Okay. <laughs> it's a little too far. Okay, so we have somewhere in between. So it's somewhere somewhere yeah. in the middle of that. That's weird. Yeah, okay. somewhere in the middle of those two. All right. So. Well I have no idea. Yeah. Oh um, my god, I'm so excited. When I was can't... the last time we had a Rachel book? It was a while ago. Uh wasn't it? The Stranger. That was a where Rachel she was book? the bear. Yeah, that was a Rachel book because she's turning into the grizzly oh, bear. I, thought, on that, the front. I thought that was a Cassie book, wasn't it? No, Cassie was um, the secret. We hated. Oh, that I'm getting them confused. I'm getting them yeah. confused. Yeah, you did that um, with the with the, the covers on that too. You were like, "Oh, that's Cassie," and I was like, "No, that's Rachel Gianni." Yeah. And you're like, um, "Oh, that's Rachel." <laughs> oh, because I, I think I mentioned this. I was. I think I mentioned. I said the stranger earlier, and I meant the secret at the beginning oh, of this episode too. Solved. Um, where this was, yes, because I'm looking at my, I'm now I'm looking at my ranking, and you're, I, I'm, I was, I said the stranger earlier, and I meant the secret, because uh, the secret is still my lowest in my, yeah. in my animorph ranking. Secret's pretty low. And then, and this then one's the just above. Is, the forgotten is right above it. Yeah. Um, yeah, that makes so, sense. Yeah, that's interesting. Yay. Okay, so I apologize if, if someone else was just listening to that and just, exploding internally being like what (laughs) What? i thought he liked the stranger i did i did like the stranger um i meant to get his books mixed up i meant the secret uh well now i want to go back to the secret so that i can re-familiarize myself with that cover that's when cassie's sitting on the ground turning into the wolf is that what it was because i thought yeah for some reason i thought that was yeah that's cassie book Mm mm-hmm that's a Cassie book there. So wait, so then wait, when was the last time we got Rachel? It was... The Stranger. That was book seven, is... I think. Book I think seven. The Secret is book nine, and The Stranger is book seven. You are right. I am. You are right. I know. You are right, my friend. We did it, um, Joe. Um... <laughs> You're the next <laughs> um, Yeah, now I'm going back to the, to the cover for The Stranger. Bear with yeah. me one moment. Yeah. Stunning. You yeah, She's turning the, bear. the bear. Oh, God, awful. <laughs> Just atrocious. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm really... Can you hear that? <laughs> well, we got to get out of here so we can let that guy do his thing. He this is dude, working. That guy. Okay, so... <laughs> you hear him? I do. I can hear him. Welcome to New York, oh, folks. Um, wow. So, I, the, so the apartment I'm in, we are facing the back of a business building, and they have a second floor where they can walk out on the roof, and they'll talk on their phones and smoke cigarettes and shit. And that's one of the guys just out there, a Hasidic just man. Just vibing out. He's just vibing out out there. He's uh, doing his thing. Yeah. You know? Let the guy rock. Good for him. <laughs> Uh, that's literally the first time I've ever heard him do that. And I've been here 10 years. So, (laughs) um, yeah, but that's cool. Um, so anyway, okay. Yeah. I'm super, super, super excited to hear your reaction to the reaction because it's so, I, this bananas, banana land. 
if Can't I'm wait. to steal your words. Uh, so very excited about that. If you enjoyed our thoughts and opinions, if you have differing ideas, if you have any ideas that maybe maybe they're a little fan y maybe you can point us towards a Wattpad where Jake and Cassie do kiss for Gianni mm. so he can get his, his yearning desires out of his little chest bones. Um, mm. You can point us in that direction in our email address. That's MorphinBuddies at gmail.com. Gianni, do you want to do the honors this time? Oh, the spelling it out. I'll let you do it. The, the M O R P H I N B U D D I E S uh-huh. at. Do it. Don't you. You better not. You better I not. Email that guy. You <laughs> son of a bitch. G M A I L dot C O M. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll get out of here before this guy starts screaming um, more. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and the saxophone guy starts saxophoning more uh, so it's been a joy and a pleasure thank you all again for listening to us and emailing us and sending your kind thoughts and informative replies and we'll see you on the next episode of Morphin Buddies <laughs>